Here's a clip for a show for Shark Week called Great White Serial Killer. Now, this is some scary stuff. Let's take a look. So now I've got one, two, three, four sharks, one with a bad attitude, and I'm ready to jump in there. This cage is specifically built with bars on every side except the front, which is all plexiglass. So when I jump in there and float out 30, 40 yards, I'm going to look like an easy target for the sharks. Intense than Sharknado. That was a big shark. In fact, that was the host of our show, Brandon McMillan, and he told me he'd never seen a white shark uh, in person up close. He'd only seen them on TV. So I said, "Well, I'll take you down to New Zealand and put you in the water, and we'll see how it goes." And well, lo and behold, that was the biggest great white I've ever seen in 23 years of Shark Week, over 18 feet long. That's a conservative estimate. Might have been 20, and extremely aggressive. So Brandon was uh, well. Let me put it this way, he had to change his wetsuit after that dive. How dangerous is it actually in that cage? Sharks have enough power to break into that cage very easily. A cage is really like a bluff. You know, the shark hits it with his nose, he feels it, uh, and then he decides this isn't something I really want to deal with, it's just a little bit too hard. But if it really wanted to get in there and get him, it could. Um, what it chose to bite in that scene was the float. The nice soft float that was holding the cage up was a little problematic because if he bites all the floats, the cage sinks to the bottom. But uh, sharks are really smart. People don't give them enough credit. They understand things that are actually edible uh, and things that uh, they should attack and shouldn't attack. So they're very adaptable. They learn quickly and they quickly understood after that first encounter, yeah, I'm going to stay away from this cage. It's not good to eat. <laughs> it's not tasty. Mm -mm. Yeah, too much work. That's it's like right. a Brazil nut. Yeah, exactly. Breaking that thing open for the soft, chewy middle, which was Brandon.